I know you're a huge NBA guy. Um, let's talk by the time this airs, shoot, it might be over judging how the game went last night, but your thoughts on, uh, on the NBA bubble and uh, Lakers heat making it to the finals. I'm, I'm obviously hyped on LeBron and the Lakers making it. Um, I think it's sick that they're playing the heat. Cause there's, there's obviously some history there. Um, even though the team is completely different. Um, but my thoughts on the bubble, it's just, oh, man, it's hurtful. It's just it's, it's just not the same, you know? Yeah. Like, I still enjoy watching the dudes play and stuff, but, like, it really it really makes you realize, like, how much, like, the energy in the building, like, makes a difference, you know? Um, like, watch, watching the games is not the same. Um, so I, I definitely miss wa- watching real basketball. And it also is making me think, like, damn, like, the Olympics next year and contests and stuff, like, I'm just praying that there's going to be, like, the fans out there and stuff because i i feed off that energy and like i i need that you know otherwise it kind of feels like you're out there skating practice so it uh it really makes a difference with everyone being out there yeah i mean obviously we don't know what the future holds but that was going to be my next question to you is obviously you know the nba is doing what they can with the digital fans a lot of the nfl stadiums don't have any fans baseball doesn't have any stands it just you watch it on tv and it just it doesn't quite feel the same at least to me yeah. And I just run, I just know skateboarding is there's so much that goes into the environment of being in the arena or at the park or in the stadium. And to take that live fan aspect away, I know it'd be tough from a broadcast perspective. I feel like it'd be losing a little energy, but I can't even imagine, you know, competing in an empty stadium. Yeah. And like, like a few years ago, I might not have said this as much, but like, especially the last couple of years, like I've really noticed and make a difference. And like be, before, you if you weren't used to being out there in these situations then you, then you would maybe think that skating without a big crowd would be easier and less pressure but when it really comes down to that moment and being out there and having to land some crazy shit like when you have to you really feed off that energy almost like a point where you don't even realize it but like when you drop in like you you hear the crowd and that shit it gets you pumped up